this morning, a funeral for the two year old boy whose body was found in a field after his mother told police he was taken. Uh, Jordan Bellevue's mother, Cherie Sinton, Sinton was killed, killed him rather, and made up the story police are saying. Let's head right over to ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton. And JJ, Jordan's death has sparked a pretty much a statewide push for change, right? A lot of people really touched by this story and getting involved. I want to show you here back back here, though, there are people starting to show up to the funeral right now. Now, we do know that uh, some people have started a petition online. It has already gathered 10,000 signatures, and Republican State Representative Chris Lavala has also gotten involved, and he is working on creating Jordan's Law. He plans to introduce it to Congress in December. This story, again, is such people all over the state, some asking how could a mother kill their own kid? According to court documents, Simpson was given custody of Jordan back in May after he spent months with a foster family. That family was in the process of trying to adopt him. The community says the state failed Jordan. They need uh, more caseworkers. Uh, the average uh, caseload per caseworker is 24 cases. And back out here live, uh, Jordan's funeral service starts at 10 here at Missionary Baptist Church. Again, people are starting to show up. They're expecting a huge crowd of people to come and support Jordan and the family today. Reporting live in Clearwater, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.